So today we have another sound design video from Scratch. I hope you enjoy these types of videos. This time we will concentrate on the new Instruo Kruin oscillator and we will try to build a nice fat crunchy bass voice. Now this will work great also in hardware. I will show you an example at the end of the video. And this is how the VCV patch will sound like. Okay, so let's start. I will use my key step to play the voice, but of course you can also sequence it and I will show you uh, how later on. So I will connect the volt per octave to the oscillator. I have here the MIDI module, volt per octave um, to the volt per octave of coin. By the way, I will use color coding and pitch information will be yellow. This is why I'm using also the cable color key module from Inclan. So I can quickly switch between the colors. So in this case, pitch will be yellow. And now let's listen to this. This will be left and right. Right, already you can uh, see and hear this oscillator is in stereo. Right, maybe I will zoom in a bit. And it's built out of six saw wave oscillators and five internal LFOs that add movement to the phase of five of the saw waves. And we can control also this movement. So we have the modulation depth, right? All the way left will be basically mono. There is no movement, right? So we can add modulation depth and we can change also the modulation rate. And you can see here the lights, um, these represent the five LFOs basically, the five modulation LFOs, right? And you can change the rate. Right, so let's go with something like this maybe, right? And we can already disconnect this. Okay, so now let's start with a filter. Now, unfortunately, there is no stereo filter in the Instruo collection. So I will use the one from Surge and we will have the left going to the left and the right to the right. In hardware, you can use something like the Freak from Vult. I also have this in hardware or something like QPass, for example, for Make Noise. There are other stereo filters out there. And there are also, of course, uh, mono ones that you can use. You can always use two mono filters. Okay, so now let's see how this will sound like left and right. I'm using the OBXD filter here. Right, we can add some resonance and then some drive. Maybe a lot of drive. <laughs> right, so it sounds already quite nice. Maybe I can go an octave lower. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, so now let's add an envelope to the amplitude of coin and I will use the new knock function generator, envelope generator, also from Instruo and coin has a built-in level control. Right, with CV with the CV input as well. So basically we have also a VCA. So um, knock has three modes. We have looping mode, a tech release, and also a tech sustain and release. So this is what I will choose. I will use the gate from the MIDI modules. Uh, MIDI module gate will be blue, right? And then we have two outputs. We have a unipolar output that will output uh, just positive voltage and a bipolar. I will use the Unipolar, right? This will go to the VCA, and now I can also play this, right? Just like this. And now I would like to have another envelope for the filter to control the filter, and I will use another knock. I will just duplicate what I have here. Again, I will use the gate, right? Again, it's in the sustain mode. And again, the unipolar will go and modulate the filter. Now the filter, this filter works with a sort of a modulation matrix. All you have to do is click the button and choose the modulation depth, right? So let's try this. And I will change the envelopes a bit. Right? Something like this. Okay, now I would like to have a bit more movement to the filter. 
So for this I will use oct, of course also from instrue, and now to have both the envelope and oct affecting the filter I would like to mix them, and now I know that I can do this in the modulation section of this filter, but I would like to do this um, in the so called modular way, just in case I would like to try this with other filters or in hardware. So for this we have to mix the signals, and I will use vinca or vinca, also from Instruo, this is a dual VCA, um, but we can also use this as a mixer, right? So the envelope will go to the lower input, the LFO, let's choose this one here, for example, modulation will be green, will go to the other, uh, to the upper input, right? And the result will go back to the filter. Now we have the envelope and we can add the LFO as well, right? You can see the movement here hear it as well. Right, so now we have both the envelope and the LFO affecting the filter. And now let's add more texture to this by using noise and use it to modulate the depth of modulation on coin, right? So I will use, I will make some space here, the noise module from VCV and I will use white noise this will go to the modulation CV input. Let's close this for a second, right? And now start adding this and have a listen to the sound. Right, if I add a lot, but I just want a bit of texture. Right, something like this. Now we can also add even more movement by using oct to modulate the rate of modulation on coin, right? So I will take even a slower output of oct. This will go to the rate CV input. Let's take this just a tiny bit, just a bit of movement. And now let's do this. I will use the new current mixer also from Instrue, of course, to mix a few signals before the filter. So I will make some space here, right? This will be the new mixer. Now the first signal will be the stereo signal from the oscillator. So what I will do, the left signal will go to channel two, the right signal will go to channel three, right? I can basically bring the levels all the way up and then I can pan them. There is also a a uh, pen at a new verter here, one left and one right, and then we still get a stereo signal. Again, we have left and right, so we have now basically the same result. And the second signal will be the sum output from Cohen, but first through a notch filter with the IO47. So let me add the IO47, of course, also from Instruo. Right, and here we have the sigma output, which will basically be a sum of the left and right. So it's a mono output, but still with lots and lots of movement, thanks to the phase modulation of the oscillators, right? So this will go to the input of the IO47, the filter, and I will use the notch output. This will go to input one on the mixer. I will take the notch all the way up, add some resonance. Take the level up, of course. Right, and then we have this movement, maybe a bit less. Right, and of course we will use oct to modulate this. Maybe we will switch the, these outputs here. We'll use something slower through the FM input. Right, so we have another layer with this mono output, with the sigma output, we have another layer through a notch filter, maybe I will zoom out a bit, and now what I will do before it goes to the mixer, I will use a delay, this is the delay from VCV, of course all of the modules I'm using here today are available for free, so you can only download the patch or build along with the video. Right, so I'm going to send this signal from the filter 
to the delay and I will use the wet output. I want this 100% wet, 100% with delay, right? And what I will do, I will take the time down. So it's not a long delay. It will be more of like, a, let's say a chorus or a flanger or something like this. And more feedback. Right, so we get something a bit more metallic sounding. Right, and on this channel, on the mixer, on Khan, we have also a CV input for the panning. So this can pan this voice left and right. And of course, we will use again Oct to do this for us. So now this will also move in the stereo field. And now all there is left is to send this to a reverb and then through some overdrive to add crunch. And all of this we will do again before the filter. So the filter will shape the timbre of everything. So I'm going to use plateau as my reverb. And I'm going to use tan also from Instruo to add some crunch to everything, right? So we have left and right going to the reverb from there to two channels of tan and then again left and right let's add reverb and crunch and add even more drive on the filter oh yeah And again, this will work great also with a sequencer, right? So here I have the same setup again with a delay and the notch filter and the filter and all of the modulation and everything, right? And instead of using the MIDI module, instead of using my key step, I'm using here one of the sequencers available in VCV. Of course, this is also available for free. This is the phrase sequencer from Impromptu, but you can use any other sequencer you like. All I did is I'm clocking it, right, with an external signal. In this case, it's an LFO. And the CV output goes to the volt per octave, right, to control the pitch. And I have two copies of the gate going to the knock modules, right? We have two knock envelope or function generators, right? So they are receiving the gate from the sequencer. Basically, it will sound like this. being sequenced from the free sequencer and what I did here I added also a sample and hold with a tag or tie from it's true as well just modulating the release of the amplitude envelope here with knock and again this will work also really nicely in hardware so this is what I have set up in hardware. It's very similar to the VCV patch. So again, I have coin, I have white noise going to the modulation CV input to add this crunch to the sound. I have one knock module controlling the amplitude via the CV level for the level of coin. Right, and this is as a stereo signal, as you can see here, I hope you can see this. This is going to the, in my case, it's the ST mix from Befaco, which is a stereo mixer, right? So I have it going to the mixer. And from there, I chose to use um, Ghost from Endorphins. I could uh, do everything with it. So reverb, delay, distortion, and filtering. I chose to use it just for reverb and delay in this case. Um, so from the mixer, this is going to a ghost with some reverb and a bit of delay. From there, it goes to guillotine, the one new distortion from Ritual Electronics after the reverb and the delay, right? Just like in VCV. And then from there, this is going to a Lopez filter, a stereo Lopez filter. Again, I'm using Freak from Vult as you can see here and again to modulate it i'm mixing one output from oct that i have here and another knock that i have here again just like i'm doing in vcv 
So I'm mixing them. In this case, it's with the one new mixer from IntelliGel. And this is going and modulating the cutoff. So this is how the first layer will sound like. I hope you're ready for this. Already it sounds quite, quite nice. Now there is another layer again, just like in VCV, I'm using the sum output. Um, so this is the mono output from Coin. This is going to a notch filter. Um, in this case, I'm using another freak filter from Vault. It has also a notch mode there um, with a certain filter. Now I don't have a mixer where I can modulate the panning, not in this case. But this filter will take a mono input and it can output it as a stereo signal modulating separately the left and the right. So this is exactly what I'm doing here. I have two different LFOs coming from OCT modulating the left and the right. So we get some sort of panning or some sort of stereo manipulation. Right, this is how uh, this layer will sound like. Right, so you can hear the movement and then all together this will sound like this. Again, Cohen, Lopez filter, notch filter, sound modulation, reverb, distortion, all the good things. Let's have a listen. Of course, this can also be sequenced. That was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these types of videos, just sound design concentrating on a few modules. You can find this patch and preset in the description. Thanks for watching. Cheers.